Blessings, everybody. I want to share a word real quick about instability. Instability means a state of being unstable or unsteady. And I was just thinking about how, you know, in the Bible, in the book of James, it says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. But what I really want to get at is, you know, us that are um, people of God know what the, dev the devil's... Um, tactics and his schemes are like the bible says we are are not unaware of the devil's schemes and his uh, devices but for some reason or another we continue to be unstable at times because it's like one minute we're up like yay god yay 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 then they spend like man god when when you gonna do this when you gonna do that but the thing about it is once you get a level of stability and can to continue to have that mindset of knowing that God is not a man that he shall lie or and he's the same today and yesterday as as any other day. You know, once you recognize that we should, you know, be um confident in that. You know, like the Bible says God has given us everything pertaining to life and godliness, but yet and still we still allow the enemy to not only um roar in our lives but you know take precedence in our life by whispering in our ears and, and having us thinking contradictory to the word of God and have us thinking um, contradictory to what God has already done in our lives or what he still has yet to do so that's why it's so important for us to be stable and be anchored in the Lord and continue to be ye steadfast and unmovable because it's real easy to do you know because that's the enemy's job which we like i said ought to know that but it's our job not to fall prey to the enemy schemes and his tactics so that's why we can't be or operate in a level of instability because it really takes a toll on our lives you know spiritually and naturally when we allow the enemy to play with our minds and to uh whisper you know, things in our ears, oh, God ain't going to do this. You know, where, where he at right now in that situation? Why he ain't come rescue over there? No, it's the simple fact that God is teaching us how to trust him even more. And that's when God is really working the most when you think he's working the least. And so, because it's almost like the enemy works. Um, he does everything contradictory to what God does. So it's like when God is doing something, he'll make it seem like God ain't doing nothing. And so when God is working things out in us and, and causing us to get a lesson, he'll make you think that um, God ain't doing nothing. So it's like anytime the enemy whispers something in your ear, just know God is doing the opposite of what he wants. The devil wants you to think because that's his job. And so once we get that in our thick skulls, you know, it will cause us to, to continue to walk uprightly before God and man, you know. So therefore, we can continue to, um, like, like the Bible says, Jesus, uh, he grew in wisdom with faith and, and in favor with God and man because he trusted in the Lord with all his heart and lead not to his own understanding. And so that's why we have to continue to not fall prey to operating in a level of instability. I just want to share that real quick. Peace.